my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it's always a blessing to have you back right here today's reading is for aries aries it is your day to shine so please go ahead and shine like a beautiful diamond that you are please make a note though that if the reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or in your feelings it only means that this reading is not for you but if you come back another day that one just might be also, if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will always be reminded whenever I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and that particular video will grow, all right? Now, for all my returning seekers, please know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I see the love and believe me, I'm embracing all that good love, all that good energy. Now, please make a note that the card has been blessed and the card has also been shuffled. However, before I get into all my readings, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord and to send his most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, giving me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers, only for the ones that need to know. So let's get started. Heavenly Father, go along my day. I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the messages that they want me to share with you, the seekers. Only for the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Um, so, Aries, um, know that this is a, another general reading. It, um, it could go both ways, right? It could go in reverse, so please know that. And it could also go for my cross watchers as well. But for Aries, if, if the reading doesn't resonate, I do have a playlist for you guys. So go ahead and check that playlist and see if there's one that will um, go with your situation, okay? So it just let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's see what's going on. What do you need Aries to know um, right now, all right? Let's see what it is that you need Aries to know. This is a very thick deck, y'all. So we'll see what um, the angel wants you to know, okay? Please, angels, work, 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 work on Aries' behalf. All right, let's see what the angels are saying here. The angels are saying that... Um, they allowed it to happen. Someone allowed something to happen. Someone was irresponsible is what I'm feeling here. Someone was very irres irresponsible and they allowed a situation to happen, right? It was not anybody's fault. They allowed it to happen, all right? They knew it was wrong. They knew what was going to happen. They knew there was going to be consequences. They allowed it to happen. They could have walked away from this situation, they did not. They made a decision. They made a choice to stay where this British should have been. They allowed it to happen is what I'm feeling here, right? The angels are also saying here, you have to let love in, all right? Someone has to let love in is what the angels are saying here, okay? I feel for some of you uh, because you've been so hurt in the past, all right? Hurt by maybe by a decision that someone had made. You feel like right now you're never going to love or never going to trust anyone again. But the angels are saying that you have to allow love in again because you cannot close the door on love because everyone is not the same. There's still people out there that is genuine and that is trustworthy and that is loyal to your heart is what they're saying here, okay? Angels also saying here. Be the first to drink the water. Always be the first when it comes down to your life and your decision making. Always be the first to know what is right for you. Do not allow people to make decisions for you is what I'm feeling. Do not um, allow people to be the leader of you. you. Sometimes you have to take that front line and just walk ahead of the game sometime. Do not just sit there and just have people making decisions for you, all right? You have to take charge is what I'm feeling here, all right? Be the first to drink the water, okay? Don't go after anyone else has already tasted that water. Sometimes you have to just go, just run to the front of the line, all right? The angels are saying here that you have to believe, all right? You have to believe because 
I feel for some of you that your faith and your belief has been shattered. And I feel that um, the first pull, your first card, you've been hurt by this first card, this, this person, is someone that has come in and that made a decision and that they should not have made and that has burned you and scarred you for the rest of your life is what I'm feeling here. But you have to believe that all things are possible and not everyone is the same, okay? The angels also want you to know this. Find that inner peace. You have to find that inner peace within yourself and know when enough is enough to move on and start renew again. Recharge, retake your life again, all right? Start smiling, start living, start doing things, start doing you, okay? Remember, not everyone is the same. There is still love out there. Genuine love, right? Find your inner peace. You have been worried, the angels are saying. You have been really worried. You have been worried about um, meeting the right person. For some of you, I see where you have had a relationship that was hurtful in the past, okay? And you have like, kind of some for some of you i'm getting a feeling that for some of you you kind of just put the relationship dating thing on on hold and then you decide to start dating again but you start to get worried because every relationship that you're trying from that point to right now is like all of them is going in the same direction which is a, a very good one but it's just saying here don't be worried about it sometimes you have to go through those um, relationship in order to you to find your forever, okay? Is what I'm feeling here. The angels are saying that you need to stay positive. You have to stay positive and know that your forever is out there and they're waiting for you. But for some of you, you have to stop dating the same type of a person that caused you pain. Sometimes it's okay to step out of your comfort zone and try something different, all right? If you're always used to dating someone that is laid back and you see that your relationship is not work with that type of a person, sometimes you have to start dating someone that will take a risk and climb a mountain. Do something different this time. All right. The angels also saying here, don't do it. Listen to your inner self. For some of you, you've been thinking about a situation. Okay. A situation is coming up, all right? Um, I feel a past relationship is coming in. And if you notice that I have kept this right here empty, because I know it needed closure here. This needed closure here. I felt it in my spirit that this right here, this relationship right here, the past, needed closure. The angels are saying, don't do it. Listen to your intuition. I feel this person in their past has been trying to contact you some way, shape, or form. The angels are saying, leave that alone, all right? Don't do it. Don't get back into that. Listen to your intuition. Intuition is telling you something is not right. Something is off. Whatever had caused your separation with this past right here, the person that allowed something to happen that shouldn't have happened, you need to close that chapter in your life, all right? Now it's time to find peace and to find a new you and to meet, to get ready to meet that new person that is going to complete you. Everything that you wanted. Your relationships after this one has not gone right because these people that you are meeting has the same quality as this person over here. Okay. You need to start to try, try to find something different, different, totally different, out of the box. The angels are saying that you need to stay focused on your health. All right, your health is first. Okay, you have to stay focused on your health. You have to start. Um, go for a walk, y'all. Go for a walk. You know, go start join the gym. Um, just try making sure that you know your blood pressure is okay, your cholesterol is where it needs to be. You know, you're intaking the right amount of. Uh, water, all that stuff. You need to start focusing on yourself. For some of you, you haven't had a physical in forever. It's time that you go and do that physical is what the agent is saying. Stay focused on your health. It's very important at this particular time in your life, all right? 
angels what is it else that you need aries to know angels are saying a loved one on the other side is watching over you there's someone that has passed away okay someone from the other side and the angels are saying that they are watching over you please know that okay that they are watching over you okay you know who that loved one is you were very close to that loved one and they always keep an eye on you when they were here always checking on you to make sure that you're okay well they're still doing that from the other side all right so you do have an angel that is keeping an eye keeping you safe the angel is saying i won't ask you to stay okay someone is saying i won't ask you to stay i see for this relationship here someone wanted someone to stay all right someone messed up and someone left this chapter of your relationship is over over okay it is it's, it is no longer you don't need to look back at this past here because all it's going to bring in your life once again is misery and please know that this card right here could also go um for whatever relationship you've had after this one but remember for some of you have seen where every relationships you've tried since you've had the last one that caused you a lot of pain they all went into a kind of a same direction as that one did. You don't ask, ask no one to stay, all right? People need to stay in your life because they have that reason to stay, which is a positive one. If you feel like there is a negative flow in your circle as with your person, that it's time to, to let them go and start to find your inner peace. The angel said, you have to find your inner peace. You have to let love in, true love only. Not people that is going to come in your life for all the wrong reasons, okay? And you have to stay positive and start worrying about things because the more you worry about things, the more you're going to mess up on your health. And just always remember to remain humble. You have to remain humble. Through all of this, just remain humble. Because my mother always said, when I was a little girl and when I was growing up, my, other, my mother always said, the humblest calf sucks the most milk okay so with that said Aries I hope the reading did resonate if it did please let me know down below um I would love to have some heart emojis down there green pink yellow I just love hearts and angels so let's get your girl give your girl some angels and heart emojis down there all right in the comment section I'll appreciate that and with that said, always remember to pray, all right? Pray, 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 and just stay prayed up. And always remember, never to forget this, to seek and you will always find.